to export your mix as one final song, click Session, Export, Export to Audio Files, or use the keyboard shortcut Alt-E. This will bring up the Export dialog box. Here you can choose the format of your final audio file, the folder that you want the audio file to be rendered in, and how you want the file to be named. If you go to the Time Span section, you can see that the box next to Session is ticked. This is the length of your session between the start and the end range markers. If you want to export a specific region of your song, you can use the Region tool to select it, then you should see another selection option in this list. Simply tick the box next to that and you'll be able to export that version as well. If you have any external synthesizers or effect pedals that you want to use with your song, then click Real Time Export. This will render your song in real time, allowing you to use all that external hardware. In the channel section, you can decide which channels you want to be included in the final render. Normally, you only have to worry about the file format section. When you're ready, click Export. After a few moments, you should see a new window appear showing a visual analysis of your final export. This will allow you to listen to the final song and click Open Folder to take you to the folder where the file is rendered in. Congratulations, you now have your first exported song. Thank you for watching this video tutorial series on how to use Ardor. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos, and I'll see you guys next time.